Hey everybody, we're back here with the director of the American Heart Association here in and around Montana. Um, and you're here to talk about uh, the American Heart Association and in terms of Go Red for Women, especially during this month. So what can you tell us about uh, what, what, is, what is the importance of uh, going red for women? The importance of going red for women is that we really want to put out more information about awareness for heart disease for women. Um, it's really underrepresented in a lot of our research that has taken place. Uh, so we really want to make sure that women understand exactly what they need to do to le lead a healthier, happier life. And you were talking about some of the symptoms of heart disease in women are very different from how men would experience it. And I thought that was really interesting. So. Um, most people associate heart disease with that old aspirin commercial of the older gentleman playing basketball and grabbing his arm and falling down from chest pain and people think that well that's heart disease that's a heart attack and that can't happen to me uh, women's symptoms tend to be really vague it's things like nausea vomiting jaw pain back pain passing out um, just feeling fatigue in general and so because the symptoms are so vague about 64 percent of women who die suddenly from coronary heart disease have not reported any symptoms because they are not associating them with heart disease so we want to make sure women understand the signs and symptoms that they're meeting with their doctors that they're knowing their numbers so we can prevent that and get that number lower yeah let's talk a little bit more about um, some of the uh, issues as well um, one of the questions that I'm trying to look at from here is like what are some of the issues that you want to highlight pertaining to heart disease particularly in women's health um, for women's health we really want women to understand like know your numbers go to the doctor do not be afraid we see a lot of women um, tend to try to be superwoman. So they, are, they have their careers, their families, they're booking physicals for their kids and for their husbands, and they're not going to the doctors themselves. Uh, unfortunately, one woman dies roughly every minute, which actually it's one woman every 80 wow. seconds is dying. We see a lot of women who are like, well, shouldn't I be really concerned about breast cancer? Because that's what you see in the news and the media. Um, Heart disease, it kills more women than the leading forms of cancer combined. So while one in 31 American women die from breast cancer, one in three die from heart disease. Yeah, well, um, I, I think I can totally, I, I can totally um, kind of uh, understand a lot of terms of what women um, do. Like it, my mom, for example, like she always says like, you should do this, you should do this. Yeah, you're gonna go double, you gotta get a checkup, you have to make sure you do all this stuff. But at the same time, she's also neglects herself a lot of times. So it's it's very interesting to kind of th see that like the, um, the the matriarch of the family is very concerned about everyone else. Yes, exactly. But a lot of times they don't really take into account of their own health as well. Yep, and their symptoms are so vague, so they're not taking care of their own health. They don't know what their cholesterol is or their yeah. blood pressure. Maybe they're feeling tired when they're walking up the stairs now, but you know what? They just hit their you know, late 40s, early 50s, so maybe it's because they're getting older. Well, in fact, none of that's, it, you know, it couldn't right. be true. And it's like a lot of times, like with, you know, um, mothers and their kids, it's like their kids are like killing them. Like their kids are just wearing them out. <laughs> and it's just like, oh, these darn kids are just like wearing me out. Maybe it's just that, like I just it's need more sleep. <laughs> but that's not a lot of the times the case. Yes, exactly. So that's why women, you're so intuitive. You know your bodies. If something doesn't feel right, go to the doctor. Be your own advocate. Be your own champion. And make sure you ask these questions. Maybe you do have a history, a family history of heart disease. You know what? That puts you at a much higher risk. And a lot of times when I talk to women, they're like, oh, yeah, that's right. My grandmother passed away from a heart attack when she was 50. And now I'm 53 and I'm passing out at work. Yeah. And so those are the things we want people to make those connections and really be your own advocate. Go to your doctor and let him know, him or her know what you're experiencing. Yeah, I mean, I just, uh, I did a shoot a couple weeks ago and they were talking about in terms of uh, wellness, heart disease, and just like the commonality of just like, uh, you know, like people in general and how people are affected by um uh, you know their health and how some people can live forever while other people who, <laughs> who are seemingly healthy can just drop down just exactly. like that. We are the silent killer and um, heart disease is generally not a long process so people always ask well 
why is this not more prominent in our normal like you know media activities and it's because heart disease is so quick if you have a heart attack it's over in minutes it's not a prolonged disease where you're suffering for years and so it's tends to be kind of yeah it is it's a silent killer and even if you have a heart attack and you are taken to the hospital in time to save it you're going to be affected forever you, yep you could your outcome um depending on how quick you get to the hospital could be severely affected and in the state of montana this is a very rural state so we look at a lot of our outlying communities communities outside of missoula and if they're not at one of our amazing hospitals here quick enough then yes they will have some lasting disabilities to prevent that, actually, the American Heart Association were entering year three of distributing $4.6 million wow. across the state of Montana. This is coming from a very generous grant from the Helmsley uh, Charitable Trust. This money is to make sure that our rural um, first responders have the life-saving equipment they need. In fact, when we started this program in 2015, it was, um, gosh, eight agencies had access to this equipment. We now have that number up to 103 and 95% of Montanans are covered. So if you have a heart attack and you're in a rural area, they now have the equipment that they need to make sure that by the time you get to the hospital, your outcome is going to be significantly better. That's great. Um, so um, we're talking about heart disease, but we're also talking about an upcoming event that you guys are hosting as well. That is correct. So we have our 14th annual Go Red for Women event this Friday, February 17th at the Double Tree. Um, this event is really designed. We've worked with some amazing community partners, including our presenting sponsor, the International Heart Institute of Mon Montana, to make sure that we're providing the tools that Montanan women need to feel empowered to take control over their own heart health health, understanding and sharing risk factors, and raising awareness so we can demand more research that's specific to women in heart disease. Our event kicks off at 10 a.m. Our doors open at 9.30. We've got some great presentations, including the International Heart Institute Health Talk by Steve Shepro. We have Dr. Ryan Marshall from Lift Aesthetic Surgery, Bodies and Soul by Laura Bender. The Montana Beef Council and the Missoula College Culinary Institute wow. are going to be cooking and sampling healthy um, meals made from beef as well. A live photo booth by Open Lens by Pamela, silent auction, blood wow. pressure checks by Community Medical Center. We want this event to be really fun and engaging. We want women to just feel empowered, like, gosh, now, now I know the risk factors and now I know the signs and symptoms and I feel empowered sitting in this room filled with hundreds of women who are gonna to go to their doctor too and get their cholesterol checked. Cool. Are there gonna be um, any uh, um, physicians or experts there also talking? We will, we will have, um, so Steve Shepro from the International Heart Institute, he's going to be debuting one of the newest procedures at IHI, which is an umbrella method, and I am not a doctor, so you do not want me to explain what this is. So you should show up and listen to Steve. Um, we will also have community medical center and uh, RNs from IHI both available to chat with you guys if you have some questions and really just encourage you to take your information you're armed with and go make an appointment. Cool. And where can people find more information about the American Heart Association? Uh, Missoula Go Red Luncheon .heart .org. Great. So is there anything else you want to say? Um, anything that you I haven't really touched on? I think we kind of covered everything. I think we Your did. Your events, happening yes. at the Doubletree, it's a luncheon, it's, it doors open 9 a.m. 9.30. 9.30, and then lunch is at 12. That's correct. Yeah. So we hope to see you there. All right. Thank you. Thanks.